As the potential for a Russian invasion in Ukraine intensifies, relations between Russia and the West are growing increasingly hostile, with tensions reaching their highest levels since the Cold War. This week, delegates from the US and Russia met to negotiate the Ukraine dispute. But will the talks have a real impact in lowering tensions? And are they too little and too late to prevent conflict on the Ukrainian border? Talks centered around Ukraine's prospective NATO membership. Moscow has demanded that Ukraine be barred from ever joining NATO. Although Ukraine was promised a membership in 2008, it never became a formal member. Despite this, Ukraine regularly receives NATO military aid and training, stoking Russian fears of Western expansion on its doorstep. Russia also called for the end of NATO activities in countries that joined after 1997, as it seeks to revive a Soviet-era sphere of influence in Eastern Europe. For their part, the U.S. is equally wary of Russian expansion, with 100,000 Russian troops stationed near the Ukrainian border and an alleged Russian plot to attack this port city, fears of an invasion have intensified. Although Russia denies any existing plans to attack Ukraine, the U.S. is unlikely to rule out an invasion after Russia seized the Crimea in 2014. Despite Russia's demands, the U.S. declined to make any decisions absent a multilateral forum. Although no progress has been made so far, the two parties were willing to consider rolling back military exercises and missile deployments. With neither side willing to budge on Ukraine, the U.S. has voiced a willingness to return to the IRNF Treaty. The agreement, which would ban the deployment of intermediate-range missiles in Europe, was abandoned by the U.S. in 2019. Ultimately, the U.S. will look to avoid escalation without abandoning its security commitments to NATO. Consequently, Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned of an aggressive response should NATO encroachment continue. In the following days, each side will do all it can to grow their respective spheres of power. Russia will likely raise the threat of invasion, and the U.S. will try to garner support among EU countries for heavy sanctions in the case of a Russian attack.